boom there it is the Dolphins do replace Jerome Baker here now earlier we talked a little bit about Anthony Walker and if you guys want to see that video it is up on the channel to go see but this is the signing that is way more important according to Ari Mirov the Dolphins are signing former Seahawks linebacker Jordan Brooks to a three-year deal worth $30 million. Miami is on the board with a big fish free agent. This is a good signing. And in this video, we're going to talk everything about Jordan Brooks. We're going to break down why this signing is more important than any other signing they've made outside of... Now, actually, they've only signed what? Uh, Jonu Smith and Anthony Walker. So yeah, this is the biggest signing by far. Let's break it all down right now. Now, the first thing we see when we look at Jordan Brooks, a six foot, 240 pound linebacker, only 26 years old, a former first round pick for a reason, by the way, but an absolute dog. In three out of four seasons, the man's tied up over 100 tackles. Back in 2021, almost had 200, 184 tackles in 2021. 109 of those were solo, by the way. And he's also had one interception, which came this last season. And, you know, he's been a dog ever since right 2023 stats 111 tackles 62 solo four and a half sacks which is a career high one forced fumble one fumble recovery one interception to go along with 10 run stuffs and four pass deflections you're talking about a guy in jordan brooks who can do it all he can get to the quarterback he can play a little bit and play drop zone coverage um, if he needs to but also can stop the run as well the man can do literally everything with Jerome Bra uh, Baker scheduled to leave this offseason they brought in Anthony Walker Jr. who is a very good leader a locker room guy a very good human overall but Jordan Brooks has the talent to be the day one starter and I was thinking about it I didn't think Anthony Walker had the day one starter capabilities but Jordan Brooks definitely does this man is everything you need in a linebacker plus more the versatility is off the charts and what he brings to Miami is just different now last season Season, the Miami Dolphins were actually a pretty good team overall offensively were one of the best and probably will be better next season but last year they ranked uh, number seven in yards allowed per rush I think Jordan Brooks helps in that that area of the game um, they ranked number 19 in rushing touchdowns allowed per game I think that number will only be helped with Jordan Brooks I think he's a linebacker where when you get in the red zone he can help stop the run so I do like that for the Dolphins and then when we talk about the passing game right the Dolphins allowed, uh, you know, they allowed 22. They were the 22 worst defense in the in the NFL in terms of opposing completion percentage allowed. Number 15 in passing yards allowed per game, and number 16 in interception percentage thrown. Now, I don't think he helps out too much in those categories, but what I will say is immediate fit right immediate fit for this Dolphins defense who needed to replace that middle linebacker hole and you're talking about a guy who is still young right you get him on a three-year deal pretty cheap only 10 million dollars per season this is huge you're talking about a guy who's tallied over 100 tackles in the last three seasons massive in two of those seasons he's going in over 100 tackles solo this dude is a beast, man. This dude is a beast. I think the Miami Dolphins fans, the culture over here is really going to fall in love what, with what Jordan Brooks brings as a linebacker to this team. Now, do me a favor, guys. Comment down below a letter grade for this signing. In your opinion, do you think it's a good move, a bad move? And also, what do you think the Dolphins need to do next? I mean, when you look at the roster, interior defensive line is definitely a big need right obviously on the outside you got Jalen Phillips you got Bradley Chubb we love that right the linebacker core you got David Long and now Jordan Brooks but Raekwon Davis Deshaun Hand both scheduled to be free agents you need to plug up that middle whether that be in the draft or free agency they need to make some moves as well to the cornerback position as well Eli Apple and Xavier Howard most likely gone. Deshaun Elliott, safety. Brandon Jones, safety. Both gone as well. They need to shore up this defense, and they need to do it as soon as possible. Let me know. Give me some names in the comment section down below. Who can they go pick up? Who can they bring in uh, to bring a, you know, a, maybe a Super Bowl to Miami, man? Hit the like button. Subscribe if you do. Join the family if you're new. It's going to be a good year here in Miami. I'm telling you. They're, they've, they've gotten better so far, but they still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.